What's up, y'all? We're gonna get straight to it. TC, welcome to the channel. You already know what time it is. I'm giving you number, visuals, perspectives, intellect, mindset, and really just that motivation to keep going. So, um, I won't worry about too much about really nothing but being consistent. Um, at the end of the day, consistency trumps everything. When you're consistent, and persistent, meaning you push through no matter what, no matter how you feel, and when you're consistent, no matter what's going on, it works wonders. Now, the, here's the beautiful thing, though. See, by me capturing these moments every day, y'all get to see firsthand what consistency and persistence in God can do for you. Now, I'm going to be, let me be the testament for you. And hopefully, I can be the testament to keep you going on your journey or whatever, whatever it is that you do. You might be watching me for entertainment. You might just be watching me just because you're like, what the hell is this? Or whatever it is. But it's a reason why you're here watching me because at the end of the day, when I post these videos, I don't send it to nothing. All I do is post it and that's it. I don't do nothing else. I just post a video. You know why? Because I'm not worried about who's going to see it. Because I know the right person is going to see it. Who needs to see it will see it. I'm not here to force nothing. See, I don't really believe in, and honestly, in my life forcing anything. I'm not a big person that I feel like I gotta, I'm gonna go out my way to make something happen. Like, I just feel like I, I like things to be a, have a natural flow to them. I like, that's what I like, me personally. So, and that's with anything that I do. Like, that's just how I think. So, just know, with that consistency, plus persistence, plus you not caring about results and who watches and, and what somebody think, that could go a long way. And, it, and if you have that mindset, you really pretty much never going to stop. Because at that point, what's, what's stopping you? Nothing. See, most people are going to be worried about what somebody think. They're not going to want to be consistent. They're not going to be persistent because they're too worried about results from somebody or from people looking or being monetized or... Um, having a certain amount of money or just wanting results like being too eager like honestly so if, if y'all don't know um i trade stocks right and when i first learned it was really like on some it was like random right and i didn't really know too much about stocks i honestly thought it was just for like you know rich white folks that's what i thought don't know why i thought that whatever right that's just lack of knowledge okay so, when I was trading the stocks, boom, I seen how fast I made money, right? So, when I made money fast like that, it made me become eager to get more. So, 
I didn't do any studying or anything. I really, honestly, I really treated it like gambling. And that's how I started, right? So I'm just like, I'm putting in money, boom, boom, boom. I remember it because I was uh, actually, my, I remember my first trade. I was, um, I was doing like a power wash, power wash in the church, right? Then my brother told me, he's like, hey, get into the stock. I don't even know what the hell stock it was. So boom, I get into it. I'm doing the job. I look at my phone. I'm up four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Yo, this is crazy. I ain't never made that much money so fast in my life. Well, yeah, I have, but eh, not that easy. That was the easiest, fastest money I ever made. So I'm just like, bro, this is just, this is crazy. So anyway, that led to me being eager, trying to consistently get those results, ha like having this uh, a horrible mindset as far as what to look what what to look for and the result. When really you got to take your time out. I didn't learn no money management. I didn't do the due diligence that I needed to do to really make it a really a real profession. Like I was really literally treating it like gambling. Only thing is I really didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Nobody in my, like nobody in my family or nobody really knew nothing. It was just new. It was around the COVID time. Like, so a lot of people started trading and stuff like that. But no, nobody really knew what they was doing. But it was easy to make money because the stock market was going so crazy. But anyway, I say that to say this because it's like you having that wrong, that, that mental, that the wrong mindset leads you to do things that doesn't, that you shouldn't be doing. And you're going to keep doing that because that's what you that's the habits that you learn. So now you got to unlearn and relearn. Now, with you being consistent and not worrying about being perfect, that's first of all, by you not trying to be perfect and just being yourself, it's going to become across naturally. It's not going to feel forced. People are going to naturally just gravitate towards you because you being you. You can be you all day long. Like, that's easy. But if you sitting here faking and being somebody else, then you know that's a whole nother story like that's that's a job like you gotta actually sit there and think and be and you know what i'm saying it's like it's not natural to be something that you're not so stay away from that as much as you can as far as you can stay far far from that all right and and there's nothing really wrong with starting over and starting to do something from scratch and being new at something and just building it up from there it's actually one of the best things because people get to see your growth and when they see that your growth that's motivate that's motivation for them and that should be motivation for you and this is inspiration and by being documented makes it even more fire like it's documented well documented and all they got to do is go back and watch your videos and see and you can show your kids that your family anybody so it's like this ain't it, so at that point they can see oh this ain't look i can see exactly what he's doing as a prime example on this show or a video never feel like your story and what you've been through is not doesn't matter because everybody experiences on his life is really literally different like we are all our own individuals your experiences is not my experiences and so on and so forth like my the what i see in my i could be with i could be with three people two people and we all together the same day but we can literally have our own experiences in that time like i was just with my friend uh, over the weekend and like we we're just talking about different perspective because things happen and it's like oh dang i didn't even see that happen or i didn't see this happen like it's it's way totally different so it's the same thing with you posting or or anything else that you do like so never feel like you less of or you're you're not important or what you've been through is not different or because it's that's just lies that we tell ourselves you know what i'm saying it's like our brains have a natural instinct to try to <laughs> it's like they try to it, it tries to keep us from doing things that we want to do or things that's not what we used to like it's like a our brain is like a wire to to keep us comfortable but you got to realize that and you got to understand that and stay away from that as much as you can Some people will probably look at me and think, oh, you doing too much. You trucking, you trading in stocks, 
You trying to get in shape. You trying to eat healthy. Like, and now you trying to do YouTube. What? Man, yeah, listen. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do. What's possible and what's not possible because people gonna put their limits on you. The people around you, they gonna put their limits on you. Oh, you can't be doing this, they can't do that. They gonna judge you, they gonna ridicule you, they gonna talk down on you, they gonna blow down on you. But guess what? When it's up, they gonna be the first ones around with their hand out. Hey, put your hand down. You wanna around with me while I'm shooting in the gym? Last time I recall, you was talking down. So yeah, don't let nobody, don't let nobody judge what you do, and put they uh, they they own expectations on you. If you really feel like you want to do something, do it. If you really feel like you you want to, you see somebody, you see a life, you see a life that that affects you and make you feel something, then maybe you should look deeper into that. And don't ever put yourself down and say, oh, nah, baby, that, that ain't for me. I can't do that. Hmm. You don't know what anything could turn into. So why limit yourself just because of what somebody else think or what you think about you? We're not doing that. For now and uh, on forever. And this message just, this message could live on forever. Because we got the, or as humans, we got the, for some reason, we like to have the same mindset and tear ourselves down repeatedly over the course of years or the course of over, through the course of time it's not like there's something new so i just want to share that message for anybody who's who's having those thoughts because i've had the thoughts myself and but eventually i fought through that to be honest, I've done a lot of things that I would just never thought that I would have been able to do. It's like, I don't really have no limit. And thank God that my parents never limited me in my thinking. Because, so who knows what I, 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 I mean, I want to live the life that I'm living now. So, by them not putting no uh, limitations on me, I kind of just, like, had a free way of thinking. But for a long, long time, I was just... I feel like I was living life like a zombie, like not really knowing what to do, not even think about what I want to do or who I want to be. Literally just doing whatever. And I feel like them be the times that people uh, really just take advantage of you, but you just got to know better and be better than, you know, those people or whatever. But whatever you want, you can do. Whatever you want you do, you can. And you just, you just got to have that wake up call one day. And hopefully that will happen by you seeing somebody. Like, oh, dang. Oh, that's pretty cool. When you see something that's interesting to you, you look look into that. Like I said, look deeper into that. Don't just let it pass you by. Like, look into that. Dang, why, do you, why did that strike me that way? Why did I feel that way when I seen this? Why did I feel that way when I seen this car or this girl or this, this uh, lifestyle? Or when they was building this, when they was creating this, when they was making clothes or whatever. When they was making this hair product or makeup, whatever it is. Like, look into that. And then when, if it make you feel some way, keep looking into that and then do it. And keep going. Don't stop. I know that was one of my biggest issues was I would like start, stop, start, stop. Too busy looking for results. Stop looking for I'm t I can't say it enough, man. I, if I, I, if I got to say it every day, I will. Stop looking for results, man. Stop being hard on yourself. Give yourself grace. Live life. Be happy. Like, don't. The more, the less you worry, the more happy you'll be. The less you look for results, the more happy you'll be. Imagine just living life just content. See, people think when you're content that you feel like, oh, you ain't going to grow or you're not going to do what you need to do. No, that's not true. You can be content and still work your ass off. Do just that. TC, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. I'm coming for more. I'm not stopping more. Y'all better, hey, y'all better keep up. Let's get it.